Atlas Aval UK Limited Guide to External Wall Insulation In order to get a fully BBA approved external wall system, use products from a single supplier, Atlas Aval. System layers are as follows. Substrate Priming Emulsion Board Adhesive Thermal Insulation Boards Mechanical Fixings base coat and embedded mesh, primers under silicon top coat, and silicon hybrid render system. Stripping the substrate. Due to the additional thickness of the external wall insulation, existing fittings such as gutters, sills, etc. must first be removed and refitted once the works are completed. Substrate suitability. Substrate evaluation is a key point of thermal insulation application. The substrate should be clean in materials which might affect adhesion of mortar and be even and sound. Adhesion test. If the substrate quality is in doubt, the adhesion test should be undertaken. In order to undertake the test, samples of thermal insulation cut into 10 by 10 cm squares should be fixed with thermal insulation adhesive onto various facade points. The adhesion is checked after three days. If the whole sample with the adhesive is torn off, it is necessary to clean the whole facade of poorly adhering coats. Substrate preparation. Peeling paint should be completely removed. The most effective surface cleaning method is through the use of a high pressure washer which both cleans the surface and removes loose coats from the wall. Priming. In order to limit and unify the substrate's absorption, it is recommended to prime the wall. Atlas KDE17 is highly penetrative. Its molecules penetrate the substrate deeply, efficiently limiting and unifying the substrate's absorption and additionally strengthen the wall. Atlas KT17 improves the adhesive setting conditions. Repeat the substrate adhesion test. After proper substrate preparation, it is recommended to repeat the adhesion test. After fixing the polystyrene cube, the tearing off should be done after three days. The substrate has sufficient strength when the thermal insulation breaks during the test. Thermal insulation fixing. It is recommended to use the starter track for the thermal insulation application. The starter track provides the line and level for the insulation boards and also provides protection to the bottom of the insulation boards. The insulation boards are fixed with a wet adhesive called Atlas KT55. Other adhesives are available. The key element is the proper fixing of the thermal insulation boards. Apply adhesive around the perimeter of the boards at least 3 cm wide. The rest of the board should be covered with adhesive patches 8 to 12 cm in diameter. So the total adhesive quantity covers at least 40% of the board surface. The strip point method provides proper thermal insulation adhesion and forms protection against rapid fire spread. Pay special attention to proper vertical position of the first row of boards, which is important for the positioning of the subsequent rows. Remember to keep the insulation boards staggered in a brick bond pattern, as this provides proper board structure. 
Most important is the arrangement of boards around the window and door reveals to ensure that boards don't meet at the reveal edges. Any gaps in the boards should be filled with EPS strips. Before the base coat application, the board surface should be sanded with sandpaper or with the use of specially prepared sanding floats until the surface is uniform and flat. Thermal insulation boards should be additionally strengthened with mechanical fixings. Plastic fixing plugs with metal pins should be hammered into place. In case of depressions caused by too deep fixings, then these can be filled with expanding foam. Do not fill mechanical fixing depressions with adhesive. Accessories for windows, corners and building gaps. In order to protect the building against damage, use additional reinforcing profiles. Special window profiles fixed to the window frame can be used at window reveals. These are installed between the window or door frame and system finishing coats. After removing the strip protecting the tape, the profile is installed with the flap towards the reveal inside. Thanks to the profile, render cracks and damage are eliminated. Protective polythene is cut to size and stuck to the window profiles. Next, the mesh is embedded into the base coat. The next step is the insulation of the corner beads within the base coat. Corner beads are also installed to the vertical window reveal corners and to the sill. To ensure continuous mesh between layers, additional strips are also embedded into the mesh. A 100mm overlap should be maintained at all times between mesh joints. Diagonal mesh stress patches cut 25 by 35 centimetres should also be installed to each window or door corner. Stress patches protect the system against cracking. Expansion joint profiles should be used at points of existing expansion joints or if insulation system divisions are necessary. Finally, all building corners are protected with corner beads. Only after installing these profiles can the base coat installation commence. Base coat installation. The product used for base coat installation is Atlas KT55, into which the mesh is embedded. Other base coats are available. When applying the base coat, remember that the substrate should be clean and dust free. The first coat starts with an even application of the base coat onto the insulation board surface. Use a notched trowel to get an even thickness. Reinforcing mesh should then be embedded into the base coat. Under no circumstances should the mesh be laid directly onto the boards before the base coat. It is important to install the base coat and mesh as a single operation, keeping a wet edge. Mesh layers should have a minimum of 100mm overlap both vertically and horizontally, priming under thin coat renders. Atlas KT16 should be used to prime under silicon hybrid renders. In order to provide proper addition, a priming mass is used under the render. Thin coat render applications. The final coat consists of a thin coat render. 
Atlas Aval's silicon hybrid render system, developed specifically for the UK, comes in over 400 different colours. For a winter solution, our mineral renders, KT137, manufactured in a dry mix and prepared on site with additional water, are also available. The through colour and mixed on site renders are applied with a steel trowel evenly onto the surface with a thickness equal to the size of the aggregate. The final texture is formed with a plastic float. It is important to ensure sufficient workmen are available to avoid render joints. Painting. When necessary, thin cut renders can also be coated with a facade paint. The Atlas KT46 is the most advanced silicon paint on the market today, available in over 400 different colours. Two coats are recommended in order to achieve an even facade colour. For further information about the Atlas Render System, or if you'd like to attend one of our trade days, please contact Paul White on 07843 589 336.